There was a sparkle to the checks one year ago, a glimmer, a little sign that maybe after several years in the wilderness, they might just be re-entering the realm of being medal contenders at the IIHF Under-20 Ice Hockey World Championship. For the Czechs, it's been a real struggle to get back to the medal podium at the World Junior Hockey Championship. The last time they picked up a medal was 2005 when they skated away with a bronze, so it's been a while. But they are showing signs of progress in developing good young players again. Two years ago, they finished in seventh place at this tournament. Last year, a big step up when they finished in fifth place. And the highlights were a win over the United States and a hard-fought quarterfinal loss against the Russians. So that is something for them to build on. There is reason for optimism. Uh, from last year, uh, we lost in the, in the World Championship. We lost against uh, in the group against the Canada 5-0, uh, but uh, I think that we play very, very, very well. Uh, by the way, we didn't score in the in the in the game, and uh, in the in the game against Russia, it was quarter final. I think it was our, our the best the best game, but uh, everybody knows that we uh, didn't win in the game and uh, the lost, and uh, we was uh, a little bit disappointed after the game. But uh, now, if I look. Look back uh, now. I say I think that uh, we we, should, we played very good, very very good games. Uh. Last year's fifth place finish was the best for the Czech since 2008. But just to put a bit of context on that, something that Coach Miroslav Preros has had to deal with, that coaches in the glory days of the 80s and even a decade ago when they won a couple of championships didn't have to deal with, is that as many as half of the players of the team don't play in the Czech Development League. They play elsewhere, in other leagues around the world. Many overseas in the Canadian Hockey League. We are used. Is it a normal for us that uh, we know that before the uh, World Champions we, we cannot get together as team? We, we know that we have uh, at least 50% players in the Canada. Uh, but I think that in the Czech area we have now uh, very good, uh, very good, guy, very good uh, players. And uh, I think that uh, if we set up this team now, I think that. Uh, at least 50% players uh, coming from the Czech Republic. Two players closer to home that he is hoping can step up include forward Peter Baranek, playing in Austria this year, but playing the last two years in the Ontario Hockey League with Barry and Kingston. And forward Thomas Hurdle, who plays with Slavia Prague. He was tied for the team lead in scoring last year with three goals and two assists. North American-based returnees will include Dmitry Yaskin, playing in Moncton this year and a product of the Slavia Prague development system. And last year's Kitchener Ontario Hockey League rookie sensation, Radek Faxa. A year ago, the goal was a top five finish for the Czechs. This year, can they get into the medals? Don't bet against it.